everyone, and welcome back to Mike's Music Mondays. This series goes over all the songs on Mike's official Spotify playlist. Today we'll be talking about track number seven, which is Still Haunting Me by Magic Dance. There's a few songs on this playlist that really stands out to me, and this is one of them. Still Haunting Me is probably one of the most fascinating songs on his playlist. Released in 2016 by Magic Dance, not only does this modern synthwave song have a mixture of longing, distress, it also has this haunting melody that suits so much of Mike's storyline. First, these playlists were initially released during season two, so the most obvious association you can think about is Mike Morning L, whom at this point in the story he thinks is dead. Mike is quite literally haunted by L, telling Will, Sometimes I feel like I still see her. Like she's still around, but she never is. And of course in season two, we have these moments between the two characters where she's kind of like a ghostly presence within the void. And while Mike is able to sense her, they're never ever really able to connect, which is probably symbolic of their relationship overall. But of course, I'll talk more about this in another video when we go more into season two stuff. And while I think this association in season two is blatant, I do think that this song in particular is an ongoing theme for Mike that happens in every single season. Let's start with season one. In season one, this fits with Will literally vanishing, never to be seen again by Mike. Of course, this would be a moment that haunts him. And this does happen again in season three, in the exact same spot. We see Will bike off into the night, and of course, Mike runs after him at this point, not wanting to lose him again. Back in season two, you could argue the same for Elle as she leaves to go to the lab, where you can see Mike obviously distressed after just witnessing what he had seen there. And then at the end of season three, we also have a very distressed and haunted looking Mike as the buyers move away, taking both Elle and Will away from him. No matter how you read Mike's sexuality, you cannot deny that these two characters are closely tied to him and he is terrified to lose them both. And in the lyrics we have, here was this look in your eyes, like fire burning to take flight, but I cannot fathom why you would ever leave my side, forever wondering how it died. And these lyrics match almost word to word with the van scene in the script. It's not fate, it's, it's not destiny, it's just simple dumb luck. And, and one day she's going to realize that I'm just some random nerd that, that got lucky that Superman landed on his doorstep. She's already beginning to understand she doesn't need me. I saw it. I saw it in her eyes the last time we talked. And a disclaimer, anything in the script that is not said in the show is technically not canon because it wasn't used in the final product. However, for the sake of this video, I want to point out how similar this bit of the script here is to those lyrics. And you're a superhero. Not anymore. This song speaks of someone leaving another to follow their own dreams and to be free. Something Elle hasn't been able to do this entire series. Elle has been locked up in a lab locked up in Mike's basement, locked up in Hopper's cabin. Felt like she didn't belong in Lenora, which she was sent to by Owens, and locked up at the Nina Project base by both Owens and Brenner. And while we know for sure that Mike and Hopper's intentions were not malicious, she still felt captive in those spaces. Elle has lacked choice the entire series. She has had men dictate everything for her. Brenner, Owens, Hopper, and Mike. What Elle wants is her freedom, independence, and most importantly, a choice. Something Mike has not given her since they rushed into a relationship as children. But I know you have spent too much of your life being told what to do by people like me. I know that. And while we do see Owens give Elle a choice in season four, we also know that he's not telling her that Brenner's going to be there and that she's going to get held captive there anyways until later on. But for today, let's focus on Mike. We'll talk about Elle's independence arc at a later time. This song primarily speaks about the singer being sad about losing a relationship and it haunts him. And while I think that's the primary reason that this song is on the list, let's go into some fun theorizing. So Still Haunting Me is one of these songs of this album named Vanishings, which has this cover art. Yes, it's giving Krill House. Yes, this album is literally called Vanishings, just like what happened to Will. You can even see a person peering outside of this window, looking similar to how Mike looked in season one. Let's look at the track listing. The first song on this album is called Another Lost Boy, yet again connecting to Will, but also a possible hint at Mike feeling lost himself, 
The second song is When We Were Young, which talks about a dance and how that love was lost to darkness, how that spark between them is gone, which could fit the snowball scene, because after that, Mike and Elle's relationship nosedived. This was their only happy moment, and even that was overshadowed by the literal shadow monster looming above them. And I've been watching Dawson's Creek because a writer suggested us to, and their symbolism is just as bad as Dawson and Joey's, which ends up with them getting back together at one point and a character literally dying, but on the same level with bad symbolism here. And guess what? Those two are not endgame either. The following track is The Mirror, which is about the reflection of self, which talks about realizing something new about yourself, love changing, etc. Mike has this imagery in his room in season four with this artwork here. Do you see how this album fits Mike's storyline? I would recommend listening to the entire thing. Back to this playlist, this song is number seven, and we already know the importance of the number seven. It was a seven. Huh? The roll. It was a seven. The Demogorgon. It got me. So again, I think picking the song, which ended up having a krill-looking house association, feeling haunted, being so intrinsically tied to Ellen Will, is just a lot of wild coincidences. The thing we are seeing time and time again with Mike and Will's Spotify playlists is how they show their ongoing storyline and direct association with the main plot, not only from season 2 when these were created, but ongoing until now. Keep in mind, they refreshed these playlists in 2022. While none of the songs changed, some of the album art has been changing. And while this album doesn't actually show that house, it's fun to speculate on, and I'm curious to see what they're going to change next in these playlists. But I'll see you guys on Wednesday for Will's song. Bye, nerds!